Hi friends, welcome back to Spinster Style. First of all, I'm sorry that it's been a couple of weeks since I've posted anything. I don't know, I just, I got busy. First my tripod broke, and so then I started trying to make a video, even though I didn't have a tripod, but it just, it wasn't really working out the way I wanted it to. And it was clearly gonna turn into just kind of a filler video that wasn't really that high quality. Um, so I wanted to make sure that I was putting out something that was actually something I was proud of, something I wanted to work really hard on. Um, so I just, I didn't even bother finishing it. And I don't know, just like, I've been in kind of a creative rut <laughs> recently. Um, like I have all of these ideas for videos, but I like, I don't know if it's the changing of the seasons, so it's darker all the time, or if it's just, you know, 2020 and all the coronavirus stuff going on, but I just, um, I don't know. I just wasn't really in the mood to make a video, so I haven't put anything out for a couple of weeks. Um, but today, I'm really excited. I have a great project. I have kind of a silly project that I'm excited about. It is, I got this really, really weird tropical frog fabric at Goodwill last year, and so I'm going to make a weird dress out of that. So I hope you enjoy. Um, also, I, in the two weeks that I wasn't making any videos, a couple of things happened. One, I got a new camera, so hopefully my video quality should be a little bit better now. It's funny because it's like a used DSLR camera from like 2011, so it's definitely not like the highest video recording equipment that you could possibly get ever, but it's definitely a step above my Android phone I was shooting on before. So let me know what you guys think about the new video quality. I hope that it works out well. I have also um, started a public Instagram account, finally. Um, so I'll link all of that down below. I'd love to have you give me a follow there. That's where I have been posting just like outfits of the day, um, any sewing projects I've been working on, things like that. So I'd love to have you there. All right, and with that, we'll go into the making of this very weird frog dress. My original plan was to make this super cute 1970s dress I had a pattern for and give it some sheer lime green sleeves. Unfortunately, there wasn't enough fabric for the original pattern, so I decided to Frankenstein a dress together using this simplicity pattern and then the sleeves from the vintage pattern. I highly recommend this simplicity pattern if you're looking for something cute but simple. It's just four main pieces with some darts. This isn't really a tutorial, but I did want to explain how to do darts if you've never done them before. This is probably not the official way to do it, but it's how I was taught to do it when you don't have any fancy tools. You lay the pattern piece down on top of the fabric with the right side up. Then you stick some straight pins through along the dotted line with the dart. Then you flip the whole thing over and mark between the pins with something that will wash out. I like using friction pens because they're heat sensitive and water soluble. When you're stitching the darts, the most important thing to do is make sure that you tie the thread at the point of the dart instead of back stitching. This will keep you from having any weird puckers in your dart. After I finished the darts, I stitched the center front seam and the shoulder seams. Then I did some long gathering stitches along the top of the sleeve. If you do this, you can carefully pull the bottom thread to gather the fabric up. 
This will help you get the sleeve to fit correctly since the two patterns don't go together. After I had stitched the sleeve in, I was able to pull the gathering threads out. Then I used some pinking shears to finish the bottom edge of the facings. Then I stitched the facings in. This part sucked a bit and I didn't get any good footage of the process, so if you do this yourself, good luck, I guess. Then I added some fancy stitches around the neck and armholes. Hi everybody, we're on the second day here. I just wanted to update you as to what's been going on with the dress. I've been making some pretty good progress on it. It's almost done. Um, last night I added some fun little details. It was just like a fancy stitch on my machine. I think that's really cute and it adds a nice little pop of contrast to it. Now all I have to do is go in and finish the seams on this sheer fabric. I probably should have um, done a French seam on it, but I, honestly I've never done a French seam before and didn't really know how to do it until I just looked it up and it's too late in the process. So I don't know, I'll just, I'll make it up. I'll figure something out. So I gotta finish this raw edge here, add the cuffs, hem it and add a zipper and then we'll be all done. So I'll check back in with you later. To finish the seams on the sleeve, I just kind of rolled everything over and stitched it down. Good enough. Then I gathered the bottom edge of the sleeve and stitched up the cuffs. The cuffs were too small for me to do by machine, so unfortunately, I had to hand stitch. Do not ask me what stitch I used here. I have no formal training. I don't know what I'm doing. It seemed to work though. After I hemmed the skirt, Bam! I added a zipper. Overall, I am so happy with how this dress turned out. It's just so silly and fun and just stylish enough that I don't look completely ridiculous being covered in literal tropical frogs. I feel like this is what Miss Frizzle would wear if she took her class to learn about amphibians, but like in the 1970s for some reason. for watching. Please comment and subscribe if you want more weird content like this. See you all next time.